Let me just have a have a look. Now you see almost almost all of it is, is capped. So my name is Adrian Dwyer and I live in Christchurch in Dorset, the south coast of England. I'm a non-executive director of a software company and I used to have a medical imaging company which I sold a couple of years ago. Just to describe where we are today, we are a few hundred yards from the high street of, of Christchurch in Dorset and we've just got a, a little garden here. This was completely overgrown, this garden, a few years ago and I've laid it out to grass and some shrubs. To get into beekeeping, I joined the local bee association and they have monthly meetings where they have an expert come in and, and talk. They also have weekly visits to an apiary that they keep and that's been really useful and I think that gave me a lot of confidence, if you like, um, with my own hive. I felt that was essential really. I've also had a mentor uh, who's got some several, several hives just up the road and uh, that's been really useful as well. So whenever I'm not quite sure about something, I've got somebody to phone and, and ask or ask for a second opinion or reassurance on what I'm doing is the right thing. So this is at least three quarters capped on that side. This is actually quite heavy. Oh, this is, look, look at that. That's what we want to see. Earlier on today we did an extraction, uh, two of the frames were completely full, uh, the whole soup was really heavy, um, so I know that I'm going to be able to do some more extraction later on, but we extracted from two frames. Okay, so this is why we're all here, extract some honey. That was exciting this part, isn't it? And I'm expecting when I've weighed it to get between six, seven pounds per frame I expect, so really easy process to, to extract, the, extract the honey. What I did before harvesting the frames, I took out each frame and to see exactly how much of the frame had been capped. And two of the frames were 90, 95% capped. Um, the other frames, um, you could see the capping starting to happen. Some of the frames had 50% honey in, some of them had 75% honey in, but clearly they weren't ready for extraction. Uh, what do my family think of the bees? My mother has become very interested in beekeeping and in fact it's one of the reasons why we decided to leave the hive in this walled garden because um, she loves watching the bees every single day. It's one of the first things she looks out of the window to see what the bees are doing and she knows what the weather's going to be doing or what the weather's like. It's lovely, it's been a tremendous interest. I can check in the morning to see they're coming out and um, providing they're all coming out fine. So I can give Adrian a report. But she's also then done a lot of research on the on the internet and so every time I come to the to the hive there's always a question, uh, what about this, what about that? So I'm having to do a bit of research just to stay, stay one step ahead of my mother who's uh, 89 years old. <laughs> Probably see Adrian more frequently um, because I think, oh, is he come to see me or the bees? <laughs> I think it's the bees. <laughs> I'm always amazed at the variety of colour of pollen. You can have sort of off-white through to orange that's as, as bright as a day-glow bib, you know, one of those safety bibs. <laughs> it's extraordinary. My favourite part of being a beekeeper is I'm just learning so much uh, about beekeeping and about the environment and about the nature of bees. There's so much to learn, it, it's, it's incredible, and I find that really interesting. Um, my work is completely different. Uh, it's involved in commerce and finance and whatever. Um, but to come into something like beekeeping, it's completely different and you're, you're learning every single day. So I'm only just about starting to learn what I don't know about bees. So I've got a long, many decades to come of learning more about beekeeping. <laughs>